Hey everyone, Brandon Desha from Global Energy Labs. Let's go over how to look at a sieve analysis. And so this is our sieve analysis spreadsheet. And what you're going to see, uh, what I'll talk about are, let's go with this section first. So this is displaying the standard sieve sizes and for our sieve analysis that's focused on frac sand which we can do any type of sieve analysis but this stack is set up for frac sand so it's sieve mesh sizes 6 through 200 and then a pan and on each sieve analysis what we do is we weigh the sieve and here's the mass of the sieve right here and then after the sieve analysis is done we record the mass of the sieve afterwards and so the difference between this number and this number is this number here retained and over the course of this sieve analysis we'll add up all of the sand that's retained and that should be 100 percent when we're done with the sieve, we have the start weight here, and then when we're done, we see that there's an error. Now, for the frac sand procedures, this error needs to be 0.5% or less. So in this case, we're at 0.3%, and as you can probably guess, the errors are going to add up because you're going to have small errors in the sieve mass and small errors again in the mass of the sieve plus sample and so those errors do add up over the course of the experiment and we want them to be less than 0.5 percent so sieve mass sieve mass plus the sample and that gives us a retained mass now let's look at this portion down here so for frac sand and again, we can do sieve analysis for, for other types of products, but this one is set up specifically for the frac sand sizes. So the main sizes for frac sand are going to be 2040, 3050, 4070, and 7140. 7140 is also referred to as 100 mesh sand. And what we do is we show you the breakdown of the sand sizes. For instance, some operations will build 2040 size sand, 4070 size sand, and 100 mesh sand, mesh sand all in the same operation. And what you can do with this part of the spreadsheet is see what products that you have and what fraction of products that you have, which can go later on towards figuring out what you're going to sell to the market. Now, down here you have a mean diameter and the mean is basically thought of as the average and then there's a median diameter and the median diameter is the center of the distribution and we get the median diameter I'm gonna click down here on median diameter because we have a different spreadsheet for that and what that does is it shows the spread and we take this spot where the two lines meet and that is your mean or median excuse me diameter for the sieve analysis okay so let's look now at this graph that we produce to show you a graphical version of your sieve analysis and so the red marker shows the retained again that was whatever sieve we're looking at how much is retained on it so for the 60 mesh sieve, it was approximately 20 grams, 18.8 .8 to be exact. And we show that, that spread here. Now in some cases, you'll see a spread that is somewhat smooth, but in many cases we have different peaks and valleys. The other part of the graph that's interesting is the cumulative, and this can shift left to right depending on the weighted average of this spread so this can for some samples this may shift this way if the spread is a finer grained sand again the finer grains are over here 
and that shows you how to look at a sieve analysis.